we're just going to be using the kernel API, which is one of the four APIs in this executor. And you guys can just literally choose any of them and use them. So you have got, you got like a Evon kernel. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best keyless shoe buy with multiple OP APIs. Enjoy. So once you guys in the first link in the description, you should see this page and what you're going to want to do is click on the page twice. And after you've done that, go click on the button that says Git Executor. So click on it. And once you guys have clicked on it, it's going to bring to this page where you can click on Download Now. Now, after a decently sized download, you're going to see it downloading on the bottom left. And after it's done, it's going to say it's dangerous and Chrome blocked it. Now, it is not dangerous. Do not worry. This is a problem with all executors because they have DLLs and stuff to inject into Roblox, which makes it a false positive. And all you need to do to bypass this block is you control plus J, and then you guys will be able to see your downloads and then just cl click on keep dangerous file and then keep anyway. And now you got it downloaded. You should see it wherever you downloaded it and you're gonna wanna double click. It's gonna show you something like this on the screen right there. I can't show you because my recording just makes it black, but anyways, you should see that, click on yes. Then you're gonna wanna go through these steps and follow this very carefully if you guys wanna be completely safe of any unwanted downloads, okay? So first off, click next here, and there's gonna be a little checkbox, and you guys can uncheck it if you don't wanna install this random application. If you don't have an antivirus and you like want this, for example, then I guess you can install it, but I do not wanna install McAfee, so I'm gonna uncheck install, click on next, Keep doing this, so just keep clicking decline on anything you don't want, and then it's gonna bring you to your free download link. Now you guys can go back to Chrome, paste the link, and once you have pasted it, it's gonna download it, as you can see on the bottom left. Keep in mind, you do have to turn off your antivirus, whatever antivirus you're using. I'm using Windows Defender, so just turn it off. And now you guys will do the exact same thing as earlier, so click on keep dangerous files, keep anyway, and now you can open Evon. Alrighty, so now that we're back at our downloads and we got the zip, extract the files. The default Windows extractor or WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever type of zipped file app you have, but just extract it and then you should get the folder, so open it up and here's the GUI files. Then you're just going to want to double click on evon.exe and the GUI should load up just like that. And now that it's injected, we can execute a script. So. Uh, let's do dark hub. So just like that, we got our dark hub open. So let's open it up. But let me actually use a custom script so I can show you guys that, you know, you don't only have to use a script hub or a saved script here. You can also use just a random script that you guys find online or from a video or from another YouTuber. There you go. It's injected. Let's paste the script and execute it. And as you can see here, we got a pretty basic GUI, but I mean, this is just what I had saved. All right, guys, and here we are. We are going to be using the kernel API because we are devs API currently has some glitches, so it can't run a lot of scripts. But by the time this video is out, it should be resolved. But anyways, we're just going to be using the kernel API, which is one of the four APIs in this executor. And you guys can just literally choose any of them and use them. So you have got you got like a Evon kernel. OK, and anyways, so as you guys can see, Dark Hub works just fine. I mean, you can use any other script that works on kernel, which will also work on Yvonne. But anyways, as you guys can see, it works just fine. You know, I am completely destroying these people. And now let me actually minimize the Yvonne GY so we can see a little bit better. And yeah, let's, let's get this win, okay? All right, now that you got the GY up, let's go through the options, okay? So first off, we got the execution menu. So you guys can execute a bunch of scripts that are pre-saved or of course the scripts I showed you guys in the videos. Down here are the buttons. So here's execute, delete, open a file, save a script, undo, redo, you know, you also got an inject button, which I think that's pretty necessary. And let's move on to the script hub where you have a bunch of scripts here. Uh, I mean, there's plenty and you can even search scripts right up here. So let's say we want an Arsenal script because we are playing Arsenal. There you go. And we got Valiant right there. But anyways, we also have a settings menu where you guys can make it top most, which is like how Synapse is. We can click on the page, but it still stays on top of our screen. We got opacity, which used to be a feature in kernel. I'm not sure if they still have it on default, but opacity, it just makes it more transparent. We also have kill Roblox. It does that. 
We also have the fix Roblox, which is such an annoying error, which gives you a kick due to unexpected client behavior. This has happened to me like three times before, and I had to restart my computer, reset my internet cache, or, or something like that. I, I, you had to do a bunch of stuff in the command prompt. It was super annoying, but you can just fix it with the click of a button from my GUI, Yvonne. Down here, you got all the APIs. So you got the We Are Devs API, which is the default, the Easy Exploits, Oxygen U, and Kernel. And keep in mind guys, this is a completely keyless GUI. And anyways, let's inject the executor. I, I just hope nobody like nobody like leaves. I mean, I mean, I'm sure people will leave, but I just hope not every player in this game will leave because that's what usually happens. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I don't, okay, I just failed. But let's get these, oh, double kill, there you go. All right, let's knife this guy, oh. Oh, okay, what just happened? All right, we gotta get some nice kills. Come on, man, come on. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, H how did I not, how did I not, okay. I only really need one kill now, so I, it's fine, okay. I can miss that knife kill because we're about to win. Oh, oh, we're now, we're playing randomizer. Okay, that's a bit of a shame, but anyways, you guys can see it's pretty overpowered. It works just fine. And more importantly, it's keyless and it doesn't have any ads other than when you first download it. And then you're completely adless. So I try to make it as easy to get for you guys as possible and you know, not annoying so you guys can just load it up, inject it and play. So hopefully that worked and hopefully you guys will test it out, see how it works. And if you don't have like an executor, like Synapse or something like that, then hopefully it will be useful because I don't know, I think it'd be pretty useful to me if I didn't have Synapse since you know, it's super easy to use. So, I mean, especially if you guys are new to exploiting and you don't really know what the buttons do and stuff like that. Super simple, you click two buttons and you're done, okay? So I really try to make it easy for new exploiters and just anyone that wants to test out the GUI is greatly appreciated. There you go, we won, finally. Remember, we are doing a 150K Synapse X giveaway. We might be doing one sooner, or after we hit 150K, we might be doing them quicker, so let's see. It uh, depends on how fast we can hit it. But anyways, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Make sure to check out Yvonne in the first link in the description and all the future videos if you ever change your mind. You know, right now, you're not that sure, but if in the future, if you ever want to test it out, it's always going to be in the last link in my description. But thank you for sticking along until the end, and hopefully, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. See you guys.